YouTube, we're here again. It's Brian Phillips. I uh, got the family here. We're going to do a quick update on the build. There was some progress made the other day, and I felt like we didn't get to show it very good because the people were working. We wanted to respect them a little bit. Um, so we'll give them just a quick pass. We got the power pulled. Uh, we got a, a couple of concerns they're looking at maybe in the next few days. They tore up a couple of fences and things, and so we're just seeing if they're maybe help us out with getting that stuff fixed. But then over here, we've got uh, progress, and we're going to do a quick video beyond that. Um, we'll come back for that in a minute. As you can see, the driveway, they added more stone because it was rutted out like really bad here. This is uh, recycled stuff. Um, and then there's some smaller stone that's on top of it, and some sand and, you know, just the stuff that whatever they were using, um, if they didn't end up using all of it, they went ahead and did it. They cleaned out right there. Why the heck did they clean out there, those retards? Why don't they clean out here in this driveway? Whatever. So... Then, you know, we got more of this crap in here, but that's just part of it, I guess. So we're just picking it up as we see it. This is the, uh, this is the prep work they got done. You can see how really smooth that is. And they drilled in, uh, rebar is gonna be poked into those holes all the way around the edge, the perimeter. You can see the red line, that's where the, uh, the garage level is. And of course you can show them the rebar here. And then that's where the, the garage is going to be. It's fairly big. It's deep. It's a three-car garage. You couldn't figure that out already. We got more sand here. And then if you look down here, you can see the flat work is. It's still working because there's moisture on it. And as this stuff uh, looks like they already got the cuts in there, which is good. You always want to cut expansion joints or you'll have cracking everywhere. Uh, concrete does two things. It gets hard to crack. And then, hey, another pair of boots. What the heck? No, those were the boots from those down were here. The boots from down here. That were in here. Right. Good. But as you can see, it's nice and clean. It looks great. I don't know if uh, I don't know if maybe they came out and wetted it down because you can see over there there's like a flat spot, and you can see that puddle. That's actually kind of a good sign in my opinion because that means the water is going to puddle there, which is over toward where the drain is. So hopefully it doesn't have a high point for where it gets to the drain. But otherwise it looks really nice. Kind of a, I would expect it maybe one more expansion joint cut, but not a big deal. And, uh, and I'm saying expansion joint, I don't mean expansion joint, I just mean cuts. Because an expansion joint would actually have expansion joint material in it. But this is a quick update on the build and you can see how everything is, I mean it's definitely rough back build. You know, we got a lot of big chunks and stuff here this is coarse it's going to be you know flattened out neatly later but this is the next step is they're going to come back tomorrow and they'll get that flat work finished up and today we're going to go look at that tree <laughs> and i promise you guys a video about that so we're going to get to it now so guys we've got a chainsaw we're going to look at that a case safety gear we got some fuel here it's pre-mixed 50 to 1 ratio and then we've got the stuff that we had left over if we need it and then we got a tripod we're not reviewing the tripod this thing holds a camera so real quick we'll just run down this stuff quick one by one this is a case it came from still from steel the case holds these tools which is nice for taking off your bar and it's got a flat blade screwdriver and then a spark plug spark plug tool so that's kind of nice. You have everything where you need it. If you get a kit like this, if you don't get one, you'll immediately regret it the first time you put this in your car or your truck because you're going to get oil everywhere. So I got some, uh, these are uh, bibs rather than chaps because I didn't like the way the chaps were going to work out for me. Uh, and they were a lot cheaper. And I got some uh, hearing muffs. I already have safety glasses and stuff from work, but they came with some tinted glasses and then I got some gloves some leathers and then just regular cotton gloves depending on what I'm doing if I'm just trying to stay clean I'll use these and then of course we got the chainsaw yeah show them how much oil's in here already we just basically took a couple of these paper towels and stuck them in in here and this is brand new so of course it comes with a sleeve but uh, this sleeve actually is built to nest in here and you're probably thinking that's kind of stupid that they're separate. Well, it's not as soon as you get one because you can't lift them out of the case otherwise because your chains are sharp and they catch. 
So this is what we ended up getting. Uh, it's a, a steel MS-250. These things are on sale right now. You're basically getting, I think this one was just like a little over two horse. The one below it was, I'm wanting to say about 1.7-ish yeah, right. horsepower for about the same price because this thing is on such a good sale. So we're gonna see, we got a safety, got a trigger, got this little release, you can get into, get into all your stuff, choke settings. Uh, this thing is a really well thought out tool. We got a safety stop. These things aren't unusual. Um, this is an 18 inch bar. So I don't know a lot about these things. Hence all the extra safety gear that some of you guys probably have never seen that have used chainsaws for your whole life. My father-in-law recommended that I not chop myself up. <laughs> so I was like, well, I'll take it. <laughs> so anyway, this runs on one to 50 mix. It's a two cycle and you'll get to see how this works out. That is a pretty big blade for somebody that doesn't do a lot of chainsaw work. But the thing is, as you can see, we have timber that wraps, and then you can't tell from here, but in the back, that timber goes all the way back to a creek. So it's a lot of timber, and there's a lot of exposure to needing one of these. So we're gonna go ahead and drag it. Oh, and then the other thing I was gonna show you guys, it's just one of these utility uh, sleds, and we're gonna see how that works today. We got it actually for our kids to use uh, just for sledding. And I don't know if you guys picked up on that, but each and every one of these things I stuck in bags, I want everything in this kit, and that way I don't have to have 47 things with me. Today we do, just because we're trying to show you guys what we did and uh, do a video. But normally, I wanna grab a tool, throw it in the car, grab a tool, throw it in the truck, and go to whatever it is I'm doing. Or later on, if we get a Ranger or something like that, we can do the same thing, or an ATV. We get to the work site, start working, keep the fuel in it, keep the chain oil in it, and just keep working until you're done. So, without further ado, we're gonna do it. See how it does on, ass, uh, on our concrete. Or so far, it's working. A lot easier to carry it all this So we're gonna look at this tree tonight and then there'll be 400 other ones later, but we'll just do one video. Okay. Sorry, there was a, a bear attacked our car. <laughs> so we're gonna keep going. This thing might try to get away from me. Actually worked really nice. It I'm did. Surprised. How much was that thing, Megan? I have like ten bucks, maybe. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll try and find one on Amazon for him. We'll we'll find links for all this stuff, guys. Oh, by the way, the reason you didn't get an unboxing for this is because steel dealers they have to actually put the one piece on that doesn't come with it, and they have to tighten it and they have to start it. So the guy that worked with us did a really nice job. He spilled some oil on it but I think you're always gonna spill oil because the way that you put the chain oil in uh, or the bar oil, uh, there's just not a way to, to not get oil everywhere. So we're gonna get this thing fired up and we'll show you how it does. We're gonna try to work on this tree here. And we'll just let you guys make your own decision as to whether or not A, you think I'm gonna hurt myself, which I hope doesn't happen because it's on video, and B, if this saw is awesome as I think it's gonna be. All right, guys. So yes, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're gonna wear all that crap? Yes, I am. This stuff is designed to slow down the blade. It's got some special fabric in there that will catch and the blade will stop almost right away. Um, it won't stop you from cutting your leg off, but it will slow it down. Um, I hope to never do a demonstration of it, but just so you guys know, this is a real chainsaw. If you get a chainsaw and you do something stupid, don't blame me. Chainsaws are dangerous. Kids, if you're watching this, don't get a chainsaw. <laughs> All right, so first things first, choke. Whoa.
Okay, we're in stop. We gotta pull the trigger and put the choke down. That's what was going on. I'm gonna find a flat spot so I can start this. Man, that thing is challenging to get going. I gotta prime it. There's a prime pump somewhere on here. And I honestly cannot remember where the heck that primer pump is. Dang it. Okay, we're gonna start again. Pull the trigger all the way down. Deposit. All right, Houston, we found our problem. He said he put fuel in it. I assumed he filled it up. He didn't fill it up. He put like a splash of fuel in it. So we're going to start from scratch. Pull the trigger all the way down on the choke, which is here. Bring it up one notch. Okay, we'll keep fighting it. Well, that took a lot of work. And it's dead. Guys, that was ridiculous.
shut it off. I never want to shut it off. <laughs> we'll just keep it running forever. It'll be a great tool. Sounds good. Good. I disengaged it. That engaged it to that. <laughs> So being that the light is pretty much gone, safety's on. Uh.